here after five years uh, when I graduated in 2011. And so many things have changed, I find. And when I walk into the school, I see there's a big change for technology. I now see that students are equipped with uh, Chromebooks. Uh, a lot of major renovations have happened, but uh, one of the things that surprised me when I walk in the building today uh, was the students, which have not changed. The students are still as, dedi as dedicated to their community, still as involved. And as soon as I walked in, I was greeted by a student, and the student was like, welcome to Berlin. And I'm like, wow, it feels like, uh, like me when I was back here, very involved in my school and my community. And it really makes me proud uh, to be back here and talk to you today. Uh, and I guess the students here at Berlin will learn this uh, implication and this importance to be involved in their community very early. Uh, as you saw a few slides ago, students are required to do community and service uh, as early as grade seven. Uh, and that for me was really a life changer. It was really a, not, an opportunity for me to get involved in my school, uh, to get involved not only in my school, but also in my community. Uh, when I was uh, growing up, uh, second year of high school, third year of high school, I got involved also in student council, uh, in many activities, took part also in the Board of Governors, we were uh, taking decisions for uh, the student body and it was really an honor for me to be able to represent the student body uh, in the Board of Governors. And the things that I learned here are things that I use until this day. Uh, we're talking about before Spanish. Uh, it was such an opportunity to be able to learn Spanish when I was here. Uh, and it's something that I used very recently this summer. I worked in Parliament, I'm going to talk to you about about that later on, but the skills that I acquired here, I use every day. Uh, now, fast forward a few more years. Uh, fourth year of high school, got involved uh, more with the, uh, the Board of Governors in my community. Uh, and the, it, we reached a point where we did not see the community and service hours as a task, but, but rather as something fun, because we would go together and. Uh, we would go during Christmas, for example, we would distribute uh, Christmas baskets and we would work in the soup kitchen, we would do the run for the cure. Uh, and it's really funny because we do the run for the cure, me and my friends, every year since, and we've graduated five years ago. Uh, and my involvement in my community uh, has never stopped. I was never able to stop getting involved in my community. Uh, and once I graduated, uh, I, instead of going directly to CJA, I decided to go to, uh, to Brazil. I studied one year abroad in Brazil uh, in Portuguese. I did not speak one word of Portuguese when uh, arriving in Brazil. Uh, and I believe I was motivated to go to Brazil because of the IBO program, which pursue, which uh, really pushes the students to look beyond and look uh, at other avenues. Uh, so I went to Brazil, learned Portuguese, lived there for one year came back after I went uh, to, Dawson, to Dawson College in the Law Society and Justice for two years. Uh, once again, still involved in my community, I was involved at, at Dawson, uh, the Board of Governors, the Senate, and I also got involved in politics. Uh, really love my community, so I decided to present myself in 2014 uh, in the Quebec general elections. Uh, I was actually the youngest candidate in Quebec to present myself in those elections. Uh, I did not win the election, but one of the things that I, that I really like uh, following the elections was one of the things we learned here at Berlin was to reflect on your experience, on my experience during the campaign, what I did good, what I did wrong. Uh, and not only during the campaign, but every time I do a university work uh, or something in my community, I always now tend to reflect on what I did good or bad, and it's something that I use every single day. Uh, there was also a by-election in my writing, saint Avi saint Town in uh, last year, 2015, so I was the candidate also uh, for those elections. Now, just uh, a few months back, I was working at Parliament in Ottawa, worked there all summer, had a great time, uh, used my, uh, my Spanish skills a lot when I was there, and my Portuguese also, I was working for the Library of Parliament uh, had a great time there, uh, and I like to think that the skills I acquired here, the ability to reflect on uh, what I'm working on, what I have uh, worked on, whether it works or not, 
does not matter, it's just the ability to reflect upon it. And also my involvement in my community definitely comes from the skills acquired from the IBO program. And so I hope you consider the IBO program for you because it really changed my life and I would encourage anyone uh, to consider the IBO program for their, uh, their time here at Berlin. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>